Good morning. <laughs> I'm going for a stroll again this morning and uh, yeah, I haven't been live again for a little bit. I'm so sorry. I've just, I've been so busy loving life, but busy with my business and you know, there's no lines for me between business. Hello Willow. Willow. There's no lines for me between business and life. You know, business to me is meeting beautiful souls all over the world and connecting and together, you know, building a life of our freedom, you know, empowering others and connecting with like-minded souls as, you know, we all work towards our individual and collective success. And you know what? Success is different to absolutely everybody. And, you know, our business is completely 5D. And this isn't going to be a business post. <laughs> I'm just reflecting. You know, our business is 5D. And each one of us makes our business our own. You know, it takes on our own soul and it's tailored around who we are. And of course, you know, my business is around empowering people. And, you know, I don't even like to call it business because it's so fun. It's, hello, Jamie. It's, it's about connection. It's about real, authentic sharing. It's about being who we are and loving on ourselves and each other and you know it's just it's it's expansive and it's empowering and it just leads from one delicious moment to the next lately i've been playing with um creation and deliberate manifestation and you know, I've come to realise, you know, that a lot of us, I imagine, have the same belief. But I, you know, even with all the work I've been doing, I've hold, held on to this belief that, you know, making money has to be a struggle. That, you know, it's somehow noble to struggle. And, you know, it's only through struggle that we create all the things that we absolutely want in life and the more that I am tuning into myself and into creation and receiving um, really sorry I got a phone call came through and it disrupted it I'm really understanding that it couldn't be further from the truth you know there is nothing that we can have that we desire that we can get through struggle you know we didn't come here to struggle. We came here to master our frequency and we came here to master who we absolutely are. And I've just realized who that call was from. <laughs> I had an appointment at 11 and it must be 11, but I've lost track of time. So I'll call back in a bit. Um, sorry, it, the more we master ourselves, hello Lexi. Hello, Jamie. The more we master ourselves and the more we understand creation, the more we can use our understanding to create what we want. And absolutely everything that's delicious, hello, Joan, comes from feeling delicious. You know, our frequency always precedes us and our frequency is what creates our world. It's not the other way around, you know. We, a lot of us blame, you know, our surroundings or other people for how we feel. And from that place, we just can't do anything about life. You know, we can't change anything while ever we're a victim. It's only when we step into our power and get into those higher frequencies that we can do anything. You know, everything around me, my whole world, including every one of you, is a projection from within me. The version of each one of you that I interact with is the version of me, the version of you that I need to interact with for my own understanding and expansion. 
So every single person that I interact with will see me in a different way because each of you have a different asking from creation. And when you kind of start to understand that there is nothing in life except yourself, you know, I'm projecting each of you and I'm projecting, you know, all of these beautiful surroundings, you know, it's all coming from within me. And if there's something that's uncomfortable in my surroundings, if there's something, um, some discord between me and another person, then I've got to look within. It's no point looking to the other person or looking to my surroundings because that is just putting a band-aid over the issue. Until I deal with what's going on in myself, I'm not going to create any change. And these things will keep appearing until, you know, I work it out. So, you know, when you realize that absolutely everything is emanating from within in every single moment, you know, nothing is solid, nothing takes time to manifest. The only time required, hello Sandra, the only time required is our tuning into it vibrationally. And when we have a thought, you know, we're already on that v vibrational match or we wouldn't be able to receive the thought about it. But, you know, we've got so many beliefs and expectations that get in our way that prevent us from actually being able to manifest instantly that we hold it away. You know, in a universe where there is no time, where there's only this moment of now, everything already is. You know, if you can imagine it, it is. As soon as you imagine it, the energy that is around us the quantum field immediately becomes not even a time space instantly as we think it we are creating it it already is you know and it's like there's all of these screens in front of us with every version of us living everything we want and depending on which one we tune into energetically is which one we see in our world around us and it's pretty cool, you know, we're not attracting things. We're attracting like frequencies to us, but we're actually manipulating this zero point field, this quantum energy around us into stuff in every single moment. You know, we can say, well, yeah, I manifested money, but it came through X, Y, Z. Yeah, that's because we needed the belief in X, Y, Z to receive it. You know, but everything just is, and it is as soon as we, you know, think it. So, you know, it, it's quite empowering when you realize, you know, there is no victim, there is no, um, no resistance, you know, it's all just creation. You can say, well, I've got resistance to money. No, you haven't. You've just got a belief in lack. You've created lack. So, you know, it's about recreating. It's, it's about not getting hung up on what's in front of us, realizing that it's showing us exactly where we are vibrationally and creating again. And, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. I just love life. I love creation. I love interacting with all of me. Look at this beautiful environment that I've created for myself right now. Yeah, and I've co-created it. I've projected people into my world to, you know, give me permission to have all of this. But hey, isn't it fun? Anyway, have a beautiful day. Find plenty to appreciate because appreciation raises our frequency and brings to us more to appreciate. So have a beautiful day. My love to you all. Bye for now.